Hi everyone and welcome back to art class. Last week we learned about Ami Matisse and how he was forced to be resourceful when he was faced with a problem and he's not the only artist to have ever done that. Lots of artists have done that and that's why today I really want to talk about Clementine Hunter, an American folk artist. Folk art is art that reflects our culture and Clementine Hunter was really good at drawing about what she knew and found lots of creative ways to make her artwork. And let's read all about her. Art from her heart. Folk artist Clementine Hunter by Kathy Whitefield, Whitehead and Shane Evans. Clementine waited until her work in the big house was done and the twinkle of stars filled the night sky above the Cane River. She was ready to paint like the artist she cooked and cleaned for on Melrose Plantation. But she didn't wait for the perfect set of paints and canvas. She used the leftovers the artist gave her Instead of canvas, she used window shades, glass bottles, black iron skillets, and old boards, whatever she could find. In the middle of her hundred years, Clementine Hunter had decided to paint. So she was around 50 years old when she decided to start painting. No one gave her lessons. As a girl, she had never even learned to read or write. Clementine didn't like school and soon quit. She told her mama she'd rather pick cotton. She was the oldest but the smallest of her six brothers and sisters. Her nickname, T-Bay, from the French words for little baby. She called herself Clementine when she was old enough to pick flowers and haul them home in a cart. When Clementine decided to paint pictures, she didn't wait for the perfect art studio. While everyone was sleeping, she created bright colored images in the dim kerosene light of her small cabin. She didn't wait to travel and seek inspiration in foreign lands. She drew the pictures in her memory, scenes of life on Melrose Plantation. Clementine thought back to days of dragging a hundred pound sack of cotton down endless rows while her children sat under a tree in the field. Memories of picking pecans in the fall in the big pecan groves to make extra money. She remembered wash days spent over black wash pots and clothes flapping on a clothesline. Long days of hard work and a little pay. There were good times on the plantation, and Clementine recorded them too. Couples laughing and dancing on a Saturday night, like the dance where Clementine met her husband, Emmanuel. Simple joys like scattering feed to a flock of hungry chickens, fishing for catfish, and bream with a cane pole on the Cane River to cook at a fish fry. Clementine enjoyed fishing at the river with her grandson, but she always fished from the bank. She didn't like getting in boats. Clementine painted special times on the plantation too. Pictures of a couple on their wedding day, graduates waiting in line for their diplomas, a paper that Clementine didn't receive until the end of her years, and children in white robes ready for their baptism in the Cane River. Her grandchildren walked into the water for their baptism. Happy days that Clementine loved to paint. Clementine didn't wait for the world to find her art. She hung a sign on her gate that read, Art Exhibit, Admission 25 Cents. Thanks. People came to see her pictures, pinned on a clothesline, and bought them. Friends who recognized her talent gave her paints, paper, and brushes. They helped her find galleries that would display and sell her work. Years later, people lined up to see her artwork at a big museum in New Orleans, Louisiana.
Another gallery proudly displayed her work, but refused to let her in the front door. She had to wait until hours later to enjoy her own pictures on display. But the laws that kept her out would soon be gone, like feed thrown to the chickens. So Clementine was around during the time of segregation, which meant that even though her gallery work was on display, she had to wait until the gallery had closed to go see her artwork on display. The art that poured from Clementine's heart and mind gives us a window to her life on the plantation, a window we would have missed if Clementine Hunter had waited for the perfect time to paint. And here is some beautiful artwork that Clementine made. She was really famous for these flowers. Zinnias were her favorite kind of flower. And we see some regular life on the plantation. People doing everyday things. 